Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Huntington Beach, California today at Cleveland Strixon headquarters. I'm with Zach Oakley, a product manager for Cleveland Golf. Mm -hmm. How's it going, Zach? Good, how are you? Good to see you today. Thanks for having us up. Yeah, thanks for coming out. We're going to talk today about new Cleveland HB line of products. Mm -hmm. Just came out not too long ago. You guys have had great success with it. We've got irons, we've got drivers, fairway woods, hybrids. Right now, we're specifically going to talk about the wood line. Um, there's some exciting technology here. And I know, first of all, sort of as background, these clubs are really sort of engineered for a specific type of player, a, yes. a gap in the marketplace that you guys felt existed. Yeah, so there's a lot of different drivers out there right now. Um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of product out there that's good for, for most golfers, but there's, there's a hole in the sense that uh, with adjustability, uh, you're really pulling a lot of weight high and forward. Um, and that's great for, for golfers that are trying to work the ball, they're trying to hit cuts, they're trying to hit uh, draws, but for the guy that's just trying to hit it high and straight, there's not really something out there for that guy. And when you pull a lot of that weight high and forward, you're putting it in the worst possible place. Um, and so what we've done is we've had this light weight hosel and we've pulled that weight low and deep so you get that uh, high launch, low spin trajectory. Yeah, and a lot of people, you know, like you said, there's some people who buy a driver and never even mess with the set. Yeah, or they'll just pull it and, and shut the face so to kind of correct that slice. Yeah. Um, and so what we've done here is we've kind of, we've set the angle for you already so you don't have to worry about it. And now this is the first time in a few years that Cleveland's out with new woods. And one of the things you brought back that was very successful for you in some of your more, more recent woods was the high bore crown that's utilized on this club. Yeah, so the high bore crown, uh, the high bore, uh, kind of one of our iconic drivers that a lot of people will remember. Um, we brought back this crown, um, and what this does is it actually lowers the, uh, the weight on the crown, and so we can move that and reposition it low and deep like I was talking about with the lightweight hosel. Um, but this also, this new crown is actually made so it flexes at impact, so especially on those high face impacts, you get uh, more ball speed. Yeah, and I know uh, one of the other sort of new technologies here is the flex fin technology. Mm -hmm. Tell us how that works. Yeah, so what these flex fins down here do is when you hit the ball low on the face, you lose ball speed. Uh, but with the flex fin technology, you're actually these are going to compress and they're going to actually spring more energy back into the ball. So you're going to see more ball speed and it's going to be more forgiving. And there's also some face technology that's helping contribute to faster ball speed sort of from all impact areas. Yeah, right? so we have the flex fins on the sole and then we have the high bore crown, uh, but we also have a, a cup face, a launcher cup face, which is going to help you um, on impacts all over, all over the place. So you can uh, see more forgiveness on those off-center hits. And the other thing that sort of stood out to me in testing today is as a stock shaft option in these drivers, you've got the Miyazaki Sikua. Yeah. And a lot of people might not be familiar with Miyazaki, one of the best aftermarket shaft companies in the world. This shaft's super stable, really feels smooth. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with Miyazaki and this shaft in particular from a profile standpoint. Yeah, so Miyazaki is actually owned by uh, the same uh, company that owns uh, Cleveland Golf. And so we actually make these in-house uh, but like you said, they are very, uh, very popular in Japan, uh, very popular uh, aftermarket shaft. And like you were talking about, they're very stable. They use a T1100, T1100 uh, which is a very lightweight but very stable substance. So you're going to see a lot of very low torque design. Outstanding. Zach, we appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for coming out.